On the southwest tip of Japan lies the beautiful island of Kyushu, Japan's third largest island. Kyushu is known for its spectacular landscape of active volcanoes and famous natural hot springs. But what's brought me here is the promise of its delicious food. Mm. Wow, it is so good. My name is Jamie Hubbard, and I'm on a mission to uncover Kyushu's gourmet treasures. Let's go inside and take a look. Joining me for this tasty adventure will be Canadian chef David Gowdy. Wow! Look at the size of it. Wrapped right out of the Ooh. ocean. Together, we'll hit the road in search of Kyushu's finest produce. I've never seen anything like this. From its sumptuous seafood. It just melts in your mm. mouth, yeah? It's incredible. To some of the best Wagyu beef in the world. Oh, man. And at the end of it all, David's promised an unforgettable feast. You make it look so easy, though. It is easy. So if it's gourmet travel you're after, <sighs> then join us for a foodie's guide to Kyushu, Japan. There are seven unique prefectures on Kyushu, and we are beginning our journey in Takachiho. Known for its beautiful lush green scenery, our trip starts here in the stunning Takachiho Gorge. Nestled within the gorge is the Takachiho Shrine, where I've arranged to meet David so we can kick off our journey the traditional way. There he is. Hey, g'day mate. How you doing? Very, very well. You must be Dave. How'd you guess? It's very nice to meet you, mate. Ah. Koreani. Looking forward to it. Good food, yeah. good fun, good times. Good people, good places. Let's do it. Let's get on it. Under the shade of these giant cedar trees, the Takachiho Shrine has been here for more than 12 centuries. Dave and I are taking part in a traditional prayer, or omairi. A money offering, or seisen, is thrown into the box. Then we bow twice and clap our hands twice to help ward off evil spirits. This ritual continues to play an important part in Japanese life. It's a lovely way to take a moment of peace before we embark on our journey. Well, Dave, here we are. We are here at Takachiho Gorge. Which is? Gorgeous. Just <laughs> beautiful, eh? It's one of the most famous power spots here in Takachiho. Oh, really? Take a look around. It's just absolutely beautiful. The breathtaking Takachiho Gorge is a narrow chasm where the Gokase River has cut its way through the rock. The sheer cliffs are made of slow-forming basalt, which are said to resemble the scales of a dragon. Beautiful, look at That's the nature. That's incredible. Even the air. Oh, it's yeah, so it's fresh. Yeah. The spectacular views of the gorge can be enjoyed from the walking path along the cliff's edge, or for a completely different perspective, boats are readily available for hire. Now this is a foodie's guide to Kyushu, and Dave has promised to cook us a feast. But first, I'll make a quick stop to take care of the drinks. We've arrived at a distillery here in Oita, Japan, called Bungo Meijo. So when you think of Japan, you think of Japanese sake. So we're going to go inside, take a look, and see what kind of sake they have here. The sake industry in the Kyushu prefecture dates back to the 1400s and the Bungo Meijo Brewery have been making traditional sake here for over 100 years. Simasen! Good afternoon! Hi, hi, you're welcome. Hello, hello. Jamie, My name is Karyu Takayuki. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's good to be here. This is a great place. There's a lot of sake. There's a lot of sake. Yes, there's a lot of sake. えっとおすすめはですね一応うちではですね、はい、あの焼酎と日本酒、はい、日本酒あとジャパニーズ酒はいあと梅酒梅酒とはいプラムリキュールですねですはいあとですねいいですねえー、あの実は今一番人気で一押しの甘酒これも作ってます。甘酒も作ってるんですよ、はい、甘酒 is actually cold sake, but it doesn't have alcohol in it, yeah?、はい、made from fermented rice. So, this is the same thing. I'm going to make a little bit of 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 a The Bungo Meijo Brewery is located deep in the mountains of Oita, and the water here is pristine, which is perfect for making amazake. 
The owner has invited me for a tour of the distillery to see how it's made. Along with water, the only other ingredients are rice and rice malt. Beautiful white rice. Uh, if you have delicious rice, you can make delicious amazaki, yeah? That's right. That's right. そしてこのお米を使ってあのタンクに入れて麹と水を混ぜて甘酒ができます。どれぐらい入れるんですか？えっとね、あの一晩だいたい十四時間ぐらいでできるんですよ。十四時間ぐらいですね。そう、オッケ
Just a short boat ride away, the Yellowtail Fish Farm is situated on the edge of the picturesque Saiki Bay. The yellowtail are farmed in these large floating pens and right now it's feeding time. Whoa, look at all the feed coming out of there. Yeah. I wonder how many fish are in there. The man overseeing this bustling operation is Takanori Osafune. How many fish you got in there? 3,000 wow. in, in this kokonake. Oh, so you got 3,000 in this, this one, Ikko Dage. Wow, that's a lot of fish. Wow, so they go to parts in Japan, but also to America as All well. All throughout the world. Wow. It takes so, about a year and a half to raise them. So they live here for a year and a half. Yellowtail fish are in high demand, so Dave is keen to get his hands on one. And thanks to some local generosity, it looks like he's in luck. Oh. いただくんですか。はい、どうぞ。これ、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょ
While eating ramen in Japan, it's customary to slurp, so I'm all in. This is really, really good. Spices are perfect. Ooh. Next up, gyoza with that special soy sauce with Chinese chives. What the? What the? More. What about on the rice too, yeah? Here? On the rice. On the rice? Oh, your English is very good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 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 kind of like got a bit of a garlicky taste with yeah, yeah? Right. Wow. The spicy sauce is made from the roots of Chinese chives. Oita is one of the top producers of Chinese chives in Japan. But traditionally, the roots have been discarded as a byproduct. So to help stop food wastage, they began to use the roots to create a unique soy sauce with Chinese chives that has quickly become a flavor sensation. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing. Good job. This is very delicious. I think I'll buy one or two of these to take back. Dave can make something nice out of this. Uh, thank you very much. Hi. Awesome. Hi. Thank you. It's a beautiful evening and Dave's been promising a feast. So it's time for me to sit back and watch the magic happen. Okay, welcome to Dave's Kitchen, everyone. Yeah. Let's hear it. Go, Dave, go, Dave. Hey. Mate, I knew you had a restaurant here in Oitra. I just didn't realize it was here. How right? are you, chair? It's very small. <laughs> Get you a big one next time. But that's OK, I'm not complaining. We're going to start off with a little miso soup. Picked up this red snapper at the market, throw it in here, and then we're going to put a little, uh, yeah, little sake. Little wine, yep. Now, earlier in the day, we were given a prized yellowtail fish fresh out of the water, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what Dave does with it. Cut down the middle. There's a bone in the middle here, yep. which you want to get rid of. You make it look so easy, Dave. It is easy. The next, what we want to do is just take off the skin. Oh, that's you're doing a fantastic job. Look at that. Dave has decided to create his own version of the sushi roll using the yellowtail. He's slicing some cucumber, egg roll, and shiitake mushrooms. So this is being simmered in soy sauce. Oh yeah, and juicy. He's also slicing some daikon, which has been fermented and smoked. And now we just have to cut the fish up. So do you just cut it in slices then, do you? Yeah, just thin slices. And just like we saw the chef do earlier, Dave is using nori sheets with a layer of glutinous white rice. So we'll go with the... Shiitake, the radish. And then a little colour. Go with the colour. The dembu. For the fish. Fish. Egg. And last but not least, the cucumber. Cucumber. Now, is there anything you have to be careful of when you are doing the rolling, or? Just flip it over and make sure everything doesn't come out the sides and. <laughs> Good advice. Keep it compact, I guess. Keep yeah. it compact. Yeah. One roll, yep. and then over again. There we Look go. That. Done. Hey. Beautiful. How'd that go? Perfect. Let's cut her up. Mm. It's times like this when I'm glad you're my friend. This is beautiful. Thank you very much. These ingredients just match each other perfectly. The shiitake is really, really good. Gave it that oita flavor, flavor. as well. You've done well. Thank you very much. Good job. For his next dish, Dave is finally slicing the yellowtail for a dish called ryukyu. He's then flavouring that with the delicious soy sauce with Chinese chives I bought earlier. You've gone all out there. That, that's not too much. That's, that's, no, that's, that's fine. That's going to be fine. And then put a little of the gyori shu. Cooking wine. And this is meaty. Adds a little sweetness to it. Yep. We'll just mix this all in. Yep. And yep. we'll put this aside for now. Yep. Now Dave's showing off some of those knife skills to finely slice the fish which he will combine with the rice for his nigiri. As a garnish for his sushi, Dave is slicing some kabosu, which is a Japanese citrus fruit that's very popular in Oita. The taste of Japan. Can't complain. And finally, the ryuku is ready to be served along with that miso, which has been simmering away. 
Oh, you can, you can smell it too. It smells great. on the top there. There you go. Nice. Done. We'll put that over here for now. Okay. And then we'll get on to the miso soup and we'll have them together at the Which end. Which we've been boiling over there been since boiling. the start. So. Yeah. There we go. All right. We've got our Look at that. our miso soup. Let's dig in. All right. Mm. Man, it's liquid gold. Let's try a little bit of this. That Chinese chive soy sauce goes with everything. Man, that is so good. Dave, what an adventure it's been, mate. The seafood here is just so good, it's so amazing. fresh. Makes such a difference, yeah? Not to mention the nira, which went amazing with the fish. In English, please. Chinese chive soy sauce. Chinese goes chive Goes well with sauce. anything. It does. Chuck it on some tofu, anything. It's great. We should do it again. I definitely. Think. No, definitely. Let's let's please do it again. Thanks, mate. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.